We had the opportunity to go downtown Mobile to the Mobile Convention Center, but we didn't go in the building. We went below it in the parking lot where it's the strangest place you would find some beautiful works of art. Check it out. Well, you wouldn't think of a parking garage as the place you go to see fantastic works of local art, but that's exactly the case right here at the Mobile Convention Center, right in the heart of downtown Mobile. We're here with ASM Global's General Manager, Kendall Wall. Kendall, great to see you. Thank you for being here. What a cool thing to come on out and see. This is so neat down here, but it hasn't always been this way. No, and, and so this is something that started a few years ago. Uh, we hosted a convention, Southeastern Theater conference, uh, a huge one, 4,000 folks, right. and uh, using all three buildings. But one of the things they wanted to do was do something for the community. So uh, Brant Wilhelm, who's our regional operations director, this is his, his brainchild, I got to give him I credit. Gotcha. So Brant was the one that really spearheaded this, but it was an opportunity to take just was really white wall down in the parking garage yeah. that doesn't do really much for you as you walk in and create a very inviting space. Inviting space, a sense of community, the yeah. vibrant, the vibrant, the bright colors. Yeah. You got to come and see it. So you mentioned that convention. So that was the first one, yes. So they actually did that first one over there of the trail maids. What wow. a fantastic display. And is that, uh, what mansion is that that they're in front of there? Right. Bragg Mitchell, I think. I think so, yeah. yeah. So that was done in 2018, as you can see. Yeah. And uh, so anyway, great, great start. Great start. And then from there, it continued to grow and expand. Talk to us about the middle one between us here. Yeah, and so from that, we, we kind of reached out to the community, to different different organizations, and University of Mobile stepped up, and again, they brought students out, they coordinated it, they come up with their theme, mm -hmm. and put together, as you can see, some water shots in the boats, and etc. So as now we've got two, so then the third one then appeared and called and said, hey, can we do something? So Bishop State, which is kind of right here beside me, so Bishop State come in and put together their theme and some of their ideas and the same type. So it created which we think is a great entrance here in, in you know kind of a very quiet space. Right this whole entrance corner now with these three murals on these three walls is completely covered and such a great way to display different elements and aspect of what makes our area great. Mardi Gras there you've got the bay here and then of course the Azalea Trail Mates but then I understand your team wanted to get in the fun a little we bit did. too. Yeah. Let's go take a look at that. Okay. So a fourth wall came about. This is Mobile, Alabama. So tell me about this wall. So this one's very unique and it really started uh, during, actually during the pandemic. So this is really, this is coming from our staff, the ASM staff here at the Convention Center, Civic Center, the Sanger, as well as uh, our Visit Mobile. So we had several from Visit Mobile that joined us. So it was a, it's a chance where we kind of laid out a big board and had different squares with different type ideas. And so the uh, employees then got to pick, they got to choose what they would like the idea uh, and then create themselves what they thought that particular uh picture or theme or idea, you know what were they trying to convey and it's really cool here if you zoom up close here you see that all of them signed that who wanted to work on it they wanted their name on this mural as you head to downtown mobile and we can't point out every single individual one of these but there's so many different things to talk about you mentioned that one was made by an artist with savannah college art and design That's right. and then of course a rich history of baseball in muse in in mobile yes, talk to us about that one see. so this one actually transpired with the city and the uh, the sports groups are talking about actually putting together this project uh, of the baseball, the Hall of Fame courtyard. And so in part of that, this, this particular block was put together and uh, Catherine Reeves, our operations manager, did this one. But you can see the battle, you know, the ship, all the many different scenes that, ever, that each one thought and created themselves. Senior, the Sanger, the Senior Bowl, Mardi Gras itself. The fountain, the bay, you know, so, all of this, it's so great. So it was a chance too, I mean, more now, that they would come down and work on this themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a couple of hours. So this took, you know, this was a long project, uh, but during the pandemic, it was great. That way they could come down, 
in the space down here and be outdoors and, and, and work on it and you know and it so it just took time. All right so next time you come down to the Mobile Convention Center you're going to have to experience this for yourself. Take some time to come look at this fantastic artwork. What a great way to enter into the convention center and welcome folks to Mobile and welcome our own people here from the Gulf Coast to see it and I know there's some blank walls yes, down there. We do we have a couple of blank walls so we're hoping to expand and so there might be other groups that will contact us and say hey is this something we can do as a class project uh, or as a group to uh, to kind of expand more more themes and more uh, details of, of Mobile. I see a big portrait of John Ed Thompson, Fox 10 <laughs> famous meteorologist. Maybe we could work that in at some point. Kendall, great to see you as always. You bet. Uh, what a cool thing, y'all. Come check this out right in the heart of downtown at the Convention Center. Thank you.